Hello everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. Got a little Mac video here for you. We don't get very many of them, right? Mac videos, here's one for you. I'm going to show you the best way to recover any lost Word documents that you may have been working on, either because maybe your computer crashed while you were working on a document, or you lost power, or you just don't know what happened to your last Word document that you were working on. Uh, this, in, in the case, is a little different in a Mac than it is a PC when trying to recover your Word documents. So let's get started here. So the very first thing that you want to check, and I know it sounds silly, but believe it or not, this happens and it could happen to anybody. Check your trash. If you can't find your Word document anywhere, you may have accidentally deleted it. So check your trash and look for your any docx files. See if your file is in there. See if you accidentally deleted it. It can happen. It's happened to me. So that would be the first thing I would do. Another thing is if you're having time machine backups, it depends on how long ago you lost this file, but your time machine backup is another idea of maybe you can restore from your time machine and find your lost file. If you still can't find it there, here are some other ways to try. So you can try your uh, Mac has its own uh, temp file directory and that's what we're going to go to now. So to go in the to your temp directory on a Mac, you want to go up to you first you want to go to your desktop here and go to go utilities and what you want to do is open up your terminal and in terminal you want to type open space dollar sign capital T M P D I R temp directory yeah and press enter okay so what this does here now is this opens up your temp directory and in here what you want to do is go through and search and look for any files in here docx files that may be yours it may or may not be there but that's one other place to check So by the way, uh, this method and these search features we're using here is good for Office 2011 all the way up to Office 365. They uh, those versions save auto save files in different locations, but I'm taking you just through the, all the major ones or all of the common ones here. So if if it's not in one of these locations, check another location here that I'm about to show you because all Microsoft Office products have what's called auto recover so right here if your file is not in your temp folder we'll just close that out and we'll close out uh, terminal close out of utilities okay and another area we can look for our lost docx file would be in the auto recover folder for microsoft word so in order to go to the auto recover location for word here we just want to go to something like uh, documents folder here and go to your finder window here and you want to type in this command and basically what this does is it takes you to the auto recovery location which by the way you can't just do a finder search for this auto recovery folder it is hidden there's nothing here now because I'm not working on a active word document but what happens here is that as you're typing every 10 minutes and as you're doing your word document there 
or creating your Word document, every 10 minutes, Office does an auto backup into this folder, which is a great thing just in case if you lose power or if your computer crashes, you can, when you fire the program back up, it will ask if you want to recover from the auto recovery. There's one downfall from the auto recovery, however, is that once you close your document and it asks you if you want to save or auto save or whatever, or if it asks you if you want to save as, or even if you save your project or don't save your project, once you close the document, auto recovery automatically deletes it from this location. Or One downside of auto recovery is that it doesn't maintain and keep the document in this folder. But it's worth a shot to look. This auto recovery feature can save your butt sometimes in certain situations, so you always want to be sure you have that activated. How do you activate this, you ask? Well, you in your Word program here, you want to go up to Word up here and hit Preferences. And in Preferences, you'll have a Output and Sharing area here. You just click on Save. And you want to be sure that this Turn on Auto Save by default is ticked. And this also works with OneDrive. If you're a OneDrive user, it automatically saves up to OneDrive all your changes. So that's always uh, an extra backup solution that's very helpful with Office 365. This feature is not available with OneDrive on, like, say, Office 2011. You can also select Always Create a Backup Copy. You can have that one set also. And you want to also have Save Auto Recover Info checked as a precautionary measure. Now, if all else fails, there's another option that we can do here. And we can go back into a Finder window. We can get rid of this here. And just very simply, type dot docx into the finder window. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to pull up every docx folder that's on your Macintosh drive. So in here you might be able to find somewhere where you may have saved it and not remembered or maybe there's a temporary version of it that you cannot find, a previous version of it, what have you, uh, it's always worth a shot to simply do a search on the drive for any .docx file. If none of this helps and you do not have access to your document that you are looking for, for whatever reason, there's always the idea of using a data recovery tool to try and pull up any previous missing files that you may have. So, but those are the most common ways of trying to find a Microsoft Word, a lost Microsoft Word file. I'm Tim from timscomputerfix.net. Head down below this video and hit that like button if you like what you see there. Rate and subscribe to my channel. Click that bell to get notifications as usual, everyone. Until next time, see you soon.